Kirana everyone. So we finished our Kahawa i te ao, uh, Zoom tonight. Um, usually at six o'clock we have a quiz. Uh, we we work in our teams that we've been allocated to and then we go into the meat of the Zoom where we have a guest speaker. Um, this time the quiz really challenged me, especially the wording of some of the questions. And for me, it also gave me a reflection of um, perspective and understanding if you were to have a conversation either with customers or just people. So we can interpret things either superficially or we can interpret things that have other meanings behind it, then we start setting our own parameters. And the reason why I say that is because we can make presumptions or assumptions um, based on a question. So when we went through the quiz and then we did the results in the poll, then I kind of took a step back and thought, I think for me to understand those questions and the answers that were the ones selected to be the correct answers actually made me understand that there might be areas that I need to revisit from last week. I like the fact that um, the Kahal team have actually stagnated and put a method behind our learning modules and that we're not just bombarded um, like what we would if we were at university or at school like daily but we're given a certain task, we've been given tasks and we just tick them off and get them done and most of all to reflect on what we're learning. So my biggest takeaway from that is the three main keys to e-commerce and how I need to go back and revisit that and actually I'm going to start putting up post-it notes all over so I can be reminded of all these little steps. The reason being is you know, a tree doesn't grow straight away. It needs the seed, it needs to be nurtured, and it needs to have the right elements. And every step that Carl Hal has given us so far has been the right steps forward. Um, I know for myself I wanted to rush in and get the link for Shopify, but I'm in no such rush at the moment. So once I get the main points down so that I am preparing myself and positioning myself in the best, most profitable or even the highest probability of me being positioned to get onto my online e-commerce business which is very exciting which I've just developed my um, survey so I'll be sending that out and possibly posting that up onto my page very soon if not tonight then definitely first thing tomorrow morning and also the biggest takeaway of tonight's speaker I think her name was Anais um, I don't want to be rude and ask again. Um, amazing wahine toa. Um, she was so amazing. I actually didn't get the grasp of writing any keynotes down except for what she had mentioned um, at the end, which was, you know, she said it might be a bit cliche, but at least, you know, have a very big why, you know, your North Star, and never ever uh, compromise on that. So I know what my North Star is. I believe solely, you know, my, my whole soul feels that. I feel that that's my purpose, that's my direction. Um, and I'm going with it. And she said, just don't weigh from that because what will happen is that you may get distracted. And you know what, we do get distracted. Um, we might see a nice shiny knob over there and we'll chase that when really we should have been just going the path that we were going on before. But it's great because God knows how to move you back in alignment. And your soul knows as well. So you get that intuitive nudge from inside to move forward. Anyway, I absolutely loved the Zoom tonight. I can't wait to get to our Ako Circle on Thursday night. And what I've learned so far through the module that was just released earlier, huge. Huge and it's exciting. So people be blessed. And I can't wait to share another video on during the week. Kakibi.